Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before watching the video, please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will discuss Solana, SOL, versus Ethereum, ETH. Understanding the differences between Solana, SOL, versus Ethereum, ETH, can help you to improve your trading results and overall market comprehension. Both of these projects provide DApp developers with flexible programming environments to create applications and tokens. However, there are some glaring differences between the projects when you dive deeper. What is Solana, SOL? Solana was built to improve on many of the shortcomings of Ethereum. The network focuses on scalability and transaction throughput. As such, it regarded as a high-performance blockchain. It uses a unique multi-layered consensus structure to eliminate bottlenecks and centralization. One of the main advantages that Solana brings to the market is that it automates the transaction ordering process for blockchains. This is how the protocol is able to achieve such high TPS rates. Additionally, the Solana project is open source, so third-party developers can build using the platform's infrastructure. What is Ethereum ETH? Ethereum is one of the pioneers of the crypto market. As the first second-generation cryptocurrency, Ethereum changed the market forever. Notably, Ethereum was the first smart contract programmable blockchain. Smart contracts improved the functionality of blockchain networks exponentially. Today, it would be hard to imagine a blockchain industry without smart contracts. Ethereum operates as the world's largest dApp and DeFi ecosystem. It's also the second largest pound network in the world. Notably, Ethereum is not a cryptocurrency, but is often confused with its utility token Ether ETH, which is used to fuel network transactions and smart contract executions. Ethereum is the blockchain that supports these EVM Ethereum virtual machine computations. Why are both cryptocurrencies so popular? Solana is emblematic of the gold rush perception of crypto and general early investors in the currency at the start of the year would have been able to make a hundredfold return on the stake. A parabolic rise of this kind is almost guaranteed to raise eyebrows and attract investment. The Ethereum network went live in 2015, having first been envisioned by designer Vitalik but Aaron back in 2013. But Aaron made the point that blockchain technology wasn't just useful for dealing with money, but could be used in other applications, too, but that first, it would need to speak a slightly different language. Ethereum wasn't the first altcoin, but it was the first to gain mainstream attention in the same manner as Bitcoin. Solana's popularity is built on many of the same technical foundations. The sudden explosion in price that it's enjoyed over the last few years is undoubtedly self-reinforcing. Development Solana launched during the height of the 2017 crypto breakout. The network was founded by Anatoly Yakovenko. The Solana team includes some notable tech execs. For example, Greg Fitzgerald, Solana's CTO, worked for Qualcomm, Dropbox, and other well-known platforms. Over the course of 2018 to 2019, Solana hosted a variety of crowdfunding and private funding rounds. These efforts resulted in the network securing plus $20 million to expand the ecosystem. The Solana mainnet went live officially in March 2020. The launch was quickly followed by a partnership with the DEX, Decentralized Exchange, Serum. Ethereum's launch Ethereum launched when the crypto market was still just taking flight in 2013. The project's founder, Vitalik Buterin, had been a longtime Bitcoiner. He saw the potential of enabling protocols to function across decentralized networks, and he wanted to simplify the process of accomplishing this task. The hype surrounding Ethereum's launch was memorable. The project hosted one of the largest ICOs, initial coin offerings, of the time when it secured $18 million in funding from plus 11,000 investors. This moment would be the start of Ethereum's rise to power. Only four years later, Ethereum would launch the 2017 ICO craze when it introduces the ERC-20 token standard to the market. Purpose Solana was built to support advanced apps. The network's developers made scalability the premier focus of the project. 
Every aspect of the network has been optimized to improve responsiveness and throughput. In this way, developers can create more expansive dApps and conduct larger computations with lower fees using Solana. Ethereum's goal was to provide dApp developers with a reliable and safe network to work within. The protocol added smart contract scripting functionality to blockchains which improved the overall functionality and usability of cryptocurrencies. Notably, Ethereum is flexible in terms of programming languages. Developers can create using Solidity, C++, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and more. Consensus One of the most unique aspects of Solana is its multi-layered consensus system. The network leverages a proof-of-stake POS, system to validate the state of the blockchain. This system enables users to earn rewards for participating as validators. Validators are chosen using a combination of random selection amongst the top token holders. This system is then layered with a proof of history POH, mechanism that leverages a timestamp system to improve performance further. The timestamp functions as a clock for blockchain events. This timing sequence adds more security to the entire system as it makes it even harder for hackers to alter data. Proof of Work Ethereum utilizes a proof-of-work system known as the FASH algorithm. This system is similar to Bitcoin in that network nodes compete to add blocks to the ledger. Notably, but Aaron felt that it would be wise to create a new algorithm to prevent the centralization that was occurring in the Bitcoin mining sector at the time. At first, this strategy worked great because it reduced the number of ASIC miners on the network. However, it wasn't long before Ethereum ASIC chips hit the market. Notably, around 18 million ETH are mined yearly. Interestingly, Ethereum is in the midst of a major overhaul. The network will upgrade its consensus mechanism to a proof-of-stake system in the coming months. The protocol is in the middle of the conversion with ETH 2.0 validators already staking their coins. To qualify as an Ethereum validator you need to stake 32 ETH or join a staking pool. Scalability Solana is one of the fastest blockchains in the market. The protocol has been bench-tested up to 29,171 TPS transactions per second. Solana's network processes block every 2.34 seconds. In comparison, Ethereum is sitting at around 15 transactions per second. Ethereum confirms one block approximately every 13 seconds. Coins SOL is the native token for the Solana network. You can stake the token and earn passive rewards. There are 489 SOL scheduled for issuance throughout the entire life of the Solana network. This scarcity has helped Solana to provide users with a dependable store of value to HODL. Ether ETH, is the native token of the Ethereum protocol. The main purpose of this token is to power EVM computations. ETH is the most widely used token in the crypto market. You can use ETH to participate in most ICOs and nearly every exchange supports the coin. Notably, the token has an unlimited supply to ensure that EVM instances can always operate. Arguments Ethereum is a proven cryptocurrency, having been established since 2015. For the time being, it enjoys superior mainstream recognition. Some Ethereum proponents would argue that many of the technical advantages of Solana come at the expense of decentralization, which is not the case with Ethereum. The transaction costs for Solana are negligible in comparison with Ethereum. Moreover, the currency offers vastly superior scalability. While we should expect these advantages to narrow as improvements to Ether are rolled out over time, for the time being Solana is the superior choice. Speed versus Experience Both Solana and Ethereum are well-respected blockchains within the market. Solana's development team accomplished their task of creating a fast and reliable blockchain that could power thousands more transactions than Ethereum. Reversely, Ethereum is still the top-performing network in the market with no signs of slowing. For these reasons, it could be wise to hold both of these tokens in your portfolio. How to buy these coins? If you're looking to buy any kind of cryptocurrency, be it Ether or Solana, then you'll want to make sure that you're buying it from a trustworthy source and that you're buying it for the best possible price. 
The easiest and most popular way of buying crypto is through an exchange. These are organizations that act as intermediaries between traders, ensuring that one can trade with the next without fear. Of course, they're not an essential middleman, but they are a useful one. That's all about today guys. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching.